Barrow Katia has returned. This will be his 40th rotation, and I'm kind of crossing my fingers that he's brought something good. So on PC, he's on the Laundra Relay, which is Mercury. On PlayStation 4, he's on the Strata Relay, which is Earth. And on Xbox, he's on the Lenovo Relay, which is Europa. Uh, and I guess it's time to actually go find out what he's got. I'm kind of crossing my fingers he's brought a weapon of some... Oh, holy... Wait, what? No! Okay. 300 ducats and 110,000 credits for point blank is not bad. Primed point blank. I use this a lot. I don't understand. Again, it's one of those I've somehow ended up with two of. He, of course, has Sans of an Auris blueprint. That's a fixed thing. He's always going to bring that. Primed fast hands can be useful in certain weapons, but 375 ducats and 120,000 credits is a lot. These things, for the Sentinel, I mean the 300 ducats and 200,000 credits for the, the Jet Sentinel wings, honestly, as soon as you add a colour, the variation disappears completely. The tail does look better, and it's only 200 ducats and 200,000 credits, so... I do like that much better, but I don't tend to use it anymore. I don't even think I have a tail on my Sentinel if I look. Uh, nope. Tailless, I think. Yep, doesn't have a tail on it. It's got the wing. No, no, it does have a tail on it. It's got that silly primed one on there. It's got the left Edo knee plate and the right Edo knee Prisma knee plate thing for 100 ducats each and 55,000 credits each. The chest plate is 225 ducats, wow, and 250,000 credits. The boosters, I still think this is backwards. The credit one should be more expensive because it's the one people will want the most because earning credits in this game can be a bit of a pain unless you have played a ridiculous amount of time. Then you don't really need it. The affinity one is probably better, but 450 ducats for that's a lot. And 200,000 credits is a lot more. 350 ducats for the credit booster with 75,000 credits. You can make the credits back on that fairly easily. It's only three days though, which is a kind of a pain for these. And the resource booster for 400 ducats and 150,000 credits. That is also really... Whoa, hang on. Okay, how did I miss this? Uh, okay, prime pressure point. 165% melee damage. I think the mod that's there at the minute is 90. So all melee weapons just got a major buff with this thing. Holy bags of crap. Um, Yeah. Okay, is that all he's brought for his 40th rotation? Okay, I'll take it. Um, Okay. Primed Hornet Strike would be overkill because Hornet Strike is currently at 220%. Um secondary damage and prime serration will be a waste of time considering they've talked about getting rid of that anyway so wow prime pressure point 165 percent melee damage it's only 385 ducats and 300,000 credits as well though ah, click must have this oh you see now i'm torn i've got one legendary coin i don't know what to put it in hmm but anyway let's jump over to console and see what they've got there Console didn't do that bad either. The Sands of Anaris again is a fixed thing. There's Jolt and Shell Shock, which is the the dual stat electrical mods. Jolt is pistol and Shell Shock is shotgun. There is also the Prisma Deadless, let's just say the the whole set, because the chest piece, both arms and both legs are here. The Prisma scanner is also turned up. That's not a bad weapon. It was better once upon a time i would love to see that thing the dual wielding like the prisma dual scanner would be nice the same thing with um, pc as consoles the boosters are here all three of them the resource and affinity are probably if i'm brutally honest the most useful ones but i'm always asked how to form credits which is why i keep saying the credit one should cost more than this because it makes sense to use the credit one actually use all of them they do come in ridiculously useful. And then there is the Katia Arrow skin, which, considering the price of it, if I'm reading this right, wow, okay, that's actually more expensive 
almost expen as expensive as the primed pressure point mod is on PC, which will come to consoles. I think it's two more rotations for consoles, and it'll line up with PC again. Well, when I say line up with PC, um, I kind of mean that it'll be where PC is now. PC is always two or three rotations ahead. I can never remember which one it is, but that prime pressure point is really useful on PC. The Jolt and Shell Shock, they're also really useful on consoles, as well as the Prisma Scanner. And for his 40th rotation for on PC at least, 38th or 37th on console, that's not bad at all. So he's going to be here for two days. Would definitely recommend getting in here as quickly as you can to get these things. Don't leave at last minute. Remembering though, if you do miss these, don't worry too much. He will return with these eventually, one day, maybe. I can't see that coming back that often. Um, point Blank doesn't really come back that often. I'm trying to remember. The continuity doesn't really come back that often, neither does Flo. But they have returned several times since their first appearance. And I think we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.